hi guys welcome back to my channel today we're gonna do our July favorites and today I have a special guest tell me your name is Erica you gotta talk so I can hear you Erica. look right here look right here this is my little sister Erica and how old are you Erica nine okay so today we're gonna do our July favorites and I have a couple of regrets so we're gonna go ahead and get started first I'm gonna talk about my favorite moisturizer and you can hold it Make sure you hold it right there where you can see it. It's the simple, like that. Hold on, I got it. It's the simple replenishing rich moisturizer. It looks like this. And it's a really, the reason why I like it is because it's a really light formula for the summer. It's, hold on, let me see if I can get just a little bit. See, it's almost like translucent and you rub it in and it's really good for the summer. It's not oily or anything. So that's been good for the face. For my primer, I actually won this in a giveaway, and it's the L'Oreal Studio Secrets Professional Magic Perfecting Base. And it looks like this, and it's kind of like a, a whipped kind of thing almost, like that. And you just kind of rub it in and gets ready for your foundation. It's like a, it's a really good primer. Now for my face, I've been loving the Maybelline BB Cream, and I got the one that's in, oh, let's see, oh, medium deep. There it goes. Medium deep, and these are like $8.99, and it's just a really light cream, and it's supposed to blur perfections, enhance, brighten, adjust skin tone, smooth, hydrate, it has SPF 30, and it has no oil or heavy ingredients. So this is perfect for the summertime. Let's see, to set my concealer, I don't have a favorite concealer, but to set my concealer, I've been using my Ben Nye Banana Powder, the Luxury Banana Powder. I love this. You can find this on MakeupMania.com. And then to set my foundation, I've been using my CoverGirl Queen Lasting Matte Press Powder. And you're going to see how much I've been loving this. I've hit pan. And it looks like this. And it's just a powder. Just a pressed powder. Really, it goes on really smooth and keeps me dry and matte all day. So, loving that. Let's see. What else for the face? Um, oh, this blush by Sonia Kashuk. It's a really hot pink blush and it's called flushed I'll give you a swatch of it really really nice hot pink blush and just blend it out and it gives you a really nice glow for the summer so that's it for the face I think now let's talk about eyes primer I've been loving my Ruby Kisses magic primer that's my son playing with the blinds hold on there we go. My Ruby Kisses Magic Primer. And this one, this looks like this is a doe foot applicator. This stuff is amazing. You can find this $4.99 at your beauty supply stores. So I love that. Um, we're talking about these two matte eyeshadows. This first one, it's by, both of these are by NYX, they're the matte eyeshadows. This one is in Blame It on Midnight. And it looks like this and this is the perfect transition color for me son please don't do that thank you sorry and then this one is a perfect like blending color just like an add of a, a taste of extra color and this is dance the dance the tides looks like that and it's just a little bit darker than this one. And it looks like this. Okay. So those two, I use these every day. Um, some more eyeshadow. Well, this is a palette that I've been loving. And it is my Naked palette. And we all know what the Naked palette looks like. But I have really been digging in this. Um, particularly into Sidecar. No. Half baked. Hey, babe, can you come get the baby? Sorry. Um, half baked. Sidecar. That sidecar. 
Sin and Virgin have been some of my favorites. And also Dark Horse, which is that darker, like bronzy brown. So, and this is, of course, on UrbanDecay.com, Sephora, Ulta, all those. I think it's like 49 bucks. So, that's the Naked Palette. Mascaras. I have... We got mascara? Yeah. Three favorite mascaras. First one I'm going to talk about, a recommendation of Emily Noel 83 is the Maybelline Lash Discovery. And this is in very black. And look at the size of this wand. It's tiny. And it's perfect to get right in those bottom lower lashes without making a mess. So, love this. Next, for lengthening, my L'Oreal Trusty L'Oreal Telescopic in Carbon Black. And I'll show you what the wand looks like. It looks like that. Love this. And then for volume, I use my L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes. And it's got a big brush. Now, I don't like the smell of this. It's got an awkward perfume smell. But it's great for volumizing. It looks like that. So those are my favorite mascaras. Now I want to talk about lashes. Let me see if I have some. I've been loving my, this is, these are the 103s, um, but just the Red Cherry General. I love the 103, and let's see if I can find the other one. Okay, these are number 99. This is a different brand, but this is a dupe for the Red Cherry 99s. They look like that. Here are the 103s, and I've also been loving my Ardell Demi Wispies. I can't... The pair that I have is like dead, pretty much. Here's here it is. Let's see if I can show it to you. It looks like yeah, looks like this. And I love these demi wispies. Um, I will definitely be purchasing more of those to apply my lashes. My new favorite is going to be, and I'll talk about a regret as well. Um, the duo, the one with the brush. And it's the one that dries clear. I regret. I've thrown them in the trash, so I don't have them. But the Revlon ones that are like this, I don't like it because right here, the product will gather and it becomes just a sticky, sticky hot mess. And another lash regret is the original duo. I don't know. Maybe I'm not using this right. If you love this, tell me how you use it because, I mean, when I press it, like, it just blurts out, gets all over my lashes, and it's just a hot mess. Another thing I've been using to apply my lashes is my mini tweezermans. They like this, and I just grab the lash in the middle. He always cuts it on. I grab the lash in the middle, boop, stick it on my eye, and these are perfect. As opposed to like my large tweezermans, these are little. So, love those. Oh, another more favorites lips. For the lips, I've been loving these uh, L'Oreal Color Riche lip balms. These are amazing. Um, I just have three to show you. I have this one's an orange and fiery veil. That's my son. Uh, this one is in rose taffeta, which is like a perfect nude for me. Can you say hi? Look, say hi. And then this one is in Silky Java, which is a little darker. And they're the swatch of those three. And the one my little sister has on, Erica, show them your lips. Alright. The one she has on is this one here in Blushing, Blushing Sequin. And it's just this pink right here. Okay, let's bring the baby up here. Come on. Sit up here with mommy. Alright. So now you're going to see my baby with a cold in the video for the rest of the video. Okay. So that, that's going to be it for my favorites. I'm gonna, I have two regrets that I'm going to talk about. And the first one... No, don't grab it, babe. The, not that I really expected that it would be, and it just broke. But not that I really expected it to be a 
excellent product but it's horrible and it's the wet n wild juicy lip balms these things are terrible um they're 2.99 and they're a waste of every bit of the 2.99 and then also this sonia kashuk um supposed to be a bronzer but um, I use it as a highlight and I don't like it. it's just too gold now the packaging is absolutely gorgeous I don't know if you can see it's got like indentations and that beautiful like um, safari type animal print it's gorgeous and it swatches beautifully a really nice golden color but it just doesn't provide a good highlight for me at all so those are going to be my monthly favorites and a few regrets for the month. Um, you've met my son. You've met my sister. Say hi. Hi. And me and her will probably be back tomorrow to do a tutorial for you. And there's also a tutorial that I filmed the other day that I forgot to upload. So be looking out for that. And so until next time, guys, talk to you later. Bye. Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. All right. Bye, guys.